Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, we are going to be escaping to our cozy living room. We're not going anywhere, we're staying in, we wanna be comfy, we want to be cozy, and we want those fragrances that are perfect for movie night, watching Halloween movies, and having snacks, and staying in the house. So I was originally gonna make this video escape to the fireplace but then I thought to myself that kind of sounds better for winter because I'm not sure how many of you are going to be by the fireplace during fall time but I think by the fireplace would be much better for winter so today we're going to escape to the living room if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Amy I do videos on all things girly especially videos on smelling good if you like that type of content don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back I'm so happy to have you here with me today and I appreciate you so so much with that said let's get right into today's video All right guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing those fragrances that I think are perfect for cuddling on the sofa, watching a movie with your partner, or even with your kids, you know, just being home. You wanna be comfy, you wanna put on a nice little set to be at home and you wanna smell really good. These fragrances are perfect for that. And I wanna apologize if you do hear screaming. Um, the neighborhood kids are playing outside, so they're having a lot of fun. I am going to talk about comfy scents first, and then I'm going to leave a few, and then I'm going to leave a few for comfy, but a little sexy. Kind of like if you want to cuddle with your boo, you wanna watch a movie or something, and you wanna smell really yummy, I'm gonna leave those for last. So the first ones are just more comforting, more just warm and fuzzy and it just feels really really nice for being at home so the first fragrance i'm going to start off with is one that i got last year and i fell in love with this fragrance and i didn't get to use it a whole lot because it got really hot but i am going to be using it again for fall and winter and this is joe malone's scarlet poppy this right here is so beautiful so nice for if you just want to be comfy in your home. This is a little powdery, it's vanilla, it almost gives almondy vibes. It's sweet, but then it's powdery and soft at the same time. This fragrance has ambrette, it has orris, it has fig, poppy, tonka bean, heliotrope, and barley. So this just gives a very cozy, powdery, sweet, but the tonka bean comes through in here. Like, I get it a lot. This one is just super sweet, vanilla, tonka bean, cozy scent. And it just, I feel like someone would just want to come up to you and just hug you. And it just smells so good. It's not offensive. You're not going to give anyone a headache with this. It's so beautiful. It's, to me, it's very like delicate, soft, but you still smell it. And I do love the tonka bean in there because it gives it a, something a little bit stronger in there so that it's not just a powdery, boring scent. I really, really love this one and I cannot wait to start wearing it again. So the next fragrance I'm gonna talk about is another one that I really love for cuddling up on the couch. I don't really like to wear this one out too much. I prefer to wear it at night, at the house, while I'm just relaxing, watching something with my husband or something like that. I love this fragrance for that and this is Dior Hypnotic Poison. And this fragrance is very, it's a very polarizing fragrance. Some people love it and some people hate it. Some people get a Play-Doh vibe in this fragrance and I can kind of smell that, but it kind of, it goes away. I don't, it doesn't really bother me. This literally smells like a cookie. Like to me, it just smells like a sweet, yummy almond cookie. So this has coconut, plum, and apricot in the opening. I do get that in the beginning, but it goes away really quickly. And to me, it goes straight into vanilla, 
almonds. There's sandalwood and musk in here. So there are middle notes. You are getting some florals and rolls and things like that, but I don't really get all of those things. I get vanilla and almond. Very comforting, very, it's a little nutty, it's a little powdery, and it's sweet. So if you like those types of scents, this one is perfect, perfect for fall time and just being at your home nice and comfy. So that was Hypnotic Poison by Dior. All right, next up we have another vanilla fragrance and this one is Musky. There is caramel in there, there's suede in there. It's sweet, it's vanilla, but it still has like an edge to it and it is so good and I mention it all the time when it comes to fall fragrances because I think that it's perfect for that. And this is MAC Creme de Nude. So I believe that you can still get your hand on these fragrances because I have checked the MAC website and they're still there. I love the packaging of these fragrances. I think that it's super, super cute. So what I love about this one is that it opens up with that Neroli which I don't like Neroli and other fragrances, but in here it gives it like this burst, like kind of a little bit clean, but it quickly fades away and it turns into that vanilla, caramel, and that suede in there gives it like this rougher texture, but like in such a nice way. It's very hard for me to describe this one, but the suede gives it a more grounded feeling to the fragrance. So you have vanilla, you have caramel, but it's not cloying at all. I find it almost sexy it's just perfect for cuddling it's not going to bother anyone either i feel like it's just one of those fragrances where it mixes with your skin and it just blends in perfectly it's almost like if you're not wearing a fragrance like your skin just smells musky that way it's like a musky vanilla scent really really nice and that is mac creme de nude the next fragrance that is perfect for staying in and cuddling is by killian and this is princess so i have the old packaging of this one there is new packaging for this one and honestly i prefer the new packaging so when i finish this one i will definitely get a bottle of the new packaging because this has been getting used. This is on my tray for this month and I have fallen in love with this fragrance so, so much. This is so beautiful. So the longevity on this one is not the best, but I don't mind. I do not mind reapplying because the scent bubble that I get with this fragrance, this one is sweet, but there is like this green side to it. And I do not like green fragrances that much. It's not really my thing but in here it is done so right. There's also marshmallow in this fragrance, which gives it this very fluffy vibe to the fragrance, is sweet. So it opens up with lemon, really nice bright lemon, and then you have green tea in here, and that is what gives this fragrance that different touch to it. It's really, really nice. You have ginger, peach, jasmine, there's even apple in here, which I pick up a little bit, and then the base notes are marshmallow, vanilla, and benzoin, and it dries down to this fluffy, beautiful vanilla with a little bit of that tea scent in there. It is beautiful and I am going to keep on using it for the rest of this month and I don't know, I, I feel like I kind of want to put it for my October tray as well because I have been layering this with some body care and it is just the best combination ever and if you want to smell good while you're staying home watching movies and stuff this is such a good one but this one is amazing to go out with it as well to do pretty much anything with this you can wear it in the evening you can wear it during the day it's a very flexible fragrance it's not cloying to me it's not going to bother anyone and i feel like it is fine with casual wear staying home going out going to eat somewhere it will do perfect in all of those scenarios but it's definitely just like a cuddling scent and i really like the touch that the ginger gives in here because when it starts to dry down you do notice a little bit of like a spiciness coming through but it's still very sweet very the marshmallow is perfect in here it is a really really nice fragrance so this is princess by killian next up we have pinrose secret genius I'm not sure if this is still available. I think I've seen it on Ulta's website, but here is the packaging that I have. My juice is turning a little dark, so I 
prefer when my fragrances turn into this color because I know that I'm about to get the best vanilla vibes from it. So this one has white chocolate in it, so I get more of the chocolate in this fragrance. So this fragrance has caramel in the opening, white chocolate in the mid, and then Madagascar vanilla, sandalwood, and cedar the white chocolate in here and the caramel this is so so good and i prefer this one for staying home because this is not the best performer it's not super long lasting or like beast mode or anything like that this is perfect for watching movies at home being casual wearing like a robe or something around the house or some comfy pjs and you just want to smell really really good for bedtime this is really good as well and i like to save this one for fall and winter because i feel like it's a little too sweet for spring and summer so if you don't like fragrances that are too sweet this one might be a little too sweet for you but if you enjoy sweet fragrances check this one out i don't think they sell it at sephora anymore but i think ulta's website does carry this and it's just so cozy and so comforting and i just like I love it so, so much. So this is Secret Genius by Pinrose. Next up, we have a vanilla with a little bit of coffee in it, another super cozy scent, and this is by Skylar, and this is Vanilla Sky. So this fragrance right here is another perfect cuddle weather type of scent, a perfect fragrance to just wear at home. Ooh, and the coffee in here is so, so nice. So I would say that if you feel like Dolce & Gabbana, the only one is like too much for you or it's too deep for you, or you just don't enjoy that one, I would say that this is kind of like the step down in intensity from that one. So you get the coffee, but the coffee's not too strong and the vanilla is nice in there. It's a creamy fragrance, it's smooth. Nothing in here is sharp, so if you don't like Dolce & Gabbana, the only one, you might prefer this one. I like both of them and I wear the only one. I feel like the only one is more for going out and more of an evening scent because on me, it is strong. But this one is a little bit more comfy, just cozy, coffee, vanilla type of scent. Think of like a nice warm latte with just the right amount of foam on top and it is just perfect, it's warm. That's what this reminds me of. So this is Skylar Vanilla Sky. This next fragrance, I almost took it back. So when I first bought it and I sprayed it on the box of the fragrance, I kind of felt like they stole my money. Like I was like, where is the fragrance? I don't smell anything. What is going on here? I was like, no, this is going right back. And then I decided to spray it on my skin and you guys saw that in, I believe it was the haul video where I talked about it and I was just like, okay, okay. So I took everything back. I put it on my tray and it already has a dent in it because I have been Loving this fragrance and this is from dead cool. This is fragrance number one So there's a little bit of a dent already going on in here I have worn this one multiple times this month and this right here is so good I love it so so much and I wore this fragrance to go to the dentist to get my adjustment because I figured it is like a musky vanilla scent that mixes with your skin and it doesn't bother anyone it's not too loud like if i have someone who's working on my mouth the last thing i want is to like give them a headache or bother them with my fragrance so i went with this one and every single time that she told me to sit up to do something i would smell myself and i just kept smelling this beautiful it just creates a really nice scent bubble around you you can wear it to go out all of these fragrances can be worn to go out they are just really really nice if you're staying home relaxing it's the perfect type of scent to feel really really nice and cozy so this one is beautiful i'm so happy that i decided to keep it and i didn't take it back and that is why it's very important to actually wear the fragrances because it's not the same when you're sniffing it either on a tester strip or on the box. It's so good. So if you know what clean reserve skin smells like, that's kind of what this smells like, but 
vanilla so skin to me is kind of like musky it doesn't really have like a scent profile i know that it's just sweet and musky it smells like second skin this is the same thing but you have a touch of vanilla in there so it's beautiful definitely not for those of you who want to smell really loud or anything like that but since we are talking about comfy cozy scents this is perfect for that and i am going to continue wearing this i do layer this one as well with something else so i am going to film a layering video very soon a lot of you guys requested that and i have some really good layering combinations that i've been doing so yeah that is dead cool fragrance number one beautiful cuddling cozy type of scent now we're going to get into those fragrances these are going to make you smell cozy and cuddly but they have a little bit of like a sensual touch to them and they're just really really nice to wear when you're watching movies with your partner or you're cuddling up on the sofa you guys are like really close to each other these are perfect for that so the first one is another vanilla fragrance but this is like a woody vanilla and this is by philosophy and this is a fresh cream warm cashmere this is so good if you love vanilla if you want to smell like an edible just like a snack then this is the perfect fragrance for that. I love this fragrance. I'm definitely going to give it more use this fall and winter. And this fragrance has vanilla, cashmere wood, sandalwood, coconut, and musk. And honestly, I don't really get the coconut in here. And if I do get the coconut, it's more of like a meaty coconut. Almost like when you're eating the coconut itself and you kind of get like that sweetness from it it's not coconut water to me it gives it like a very creamy smooth touch to the fragrance and it's so good it's so so good so this one i want to get my hands on the body care of this because i feel like layered it would be so amazing i think they have a body wash so yeah really really good fragrance fresh cream warm cashmere and then if you want to be a little bit more feminine a little more romantic sensual very yeah just romantic i think is the perfect word for this fragrance i would wear killian's rolling in love now i know this is a pricey fragrance and some people are like why would you wear that to your living room but if you like to smell good all the time and you enjoy your fragrances i don't think it matters where you're at I like to wear fragrance when I'm home, when I'm going to bed, during the day. It just depends what mood I'm in. That's what I wear. So this is Killian's Rolling in Love, and this is perfect for cuddling and for cozy fall activities in your living room. It's so good. It is a little floral, but it is very soft floral. You get the nutty vibes from the almonds, and it's definitely a soft delicate fragrance and i almost get like a cherry vibe in here because i know cherry gets confused a lot with almond but this smells kind of like the cherry that is in givenchy's irresistible delicious i think is the name of the fragrance it kind of gives me like that cherry that's in there but not as cloying and not as thick this one's a little bit more a little more airiness to it it's not as thick and dense as that fragrance but i do kind of get like a vibe of a cherry in here almondy very smooth delicate romantic fragrance it's perfect for wearing when you're going to have like a close encounter with someone it's really really nice for that that is killian's rolling in love now if you want to smell like a sweet fruity just delicious you're going to smell like a snack like this is seriously one of those fragrances where you're just attracted to it so like if a man smells it they're gonna think that you smell amazing they're gonna be attracted to it it's not too cloying at least to me it's not and i feel like it's the perfect cuddling fragrance my husband loves this fragrance i haven't worn it in a long time so this definitely needs to make it to a tray very soon and this is ari by ariana grande this is so, so nice. It's one of my favorite fragrances from her line. I prefer this one over the Sweet Like Candy. I definitely prefer Ari. 
it is so nice and i actually like the little pom-pom i think it's cute and it's just different and unique it is raspberry it's very sweet it's very sugary to me it is super sweet so if you don't like sweet fragrances this might be a little too much for you but if you love smelling sweet smelling fruity and a little juicy this one is definitely a good one and you just you're gonna smell edible that's how good it smells so that is ari by ariana grande this last fragrance i honestly don't know if i want to keep talking about this one on my channel because i can't find it anymore i think it's been discontinued and when you do find a bottle it's like ridiculously overpriced but if you do own this one or if there's any way that maybe you see it somewhere at a discount store or anything like that it is definitely worth getting it and this is from Lancome and this is La Noche Sor a la Folie which I believe was in my escape to the winery video but this is also really nice if you want to cuddle it's a little bit more deep and rich and sensual it's a little bit stronger my husband really likes this one as well every time that I wear this one he definitely compliments me more than he usually does on my fragrance and it's when I wear this one. This is a vanilla sweet. I also get fruits, but it's kind of like a darker fruit to me. Kind of like, just think of like deep purple and reddish type of fruits. And then there's like this nutty type of vibe to this fragrance as well. And every single time that I put it on, I feel like I get like a different different notes from it but overall it's a little syrupy it's thick it's sweet vanilla nutty and it's very very sexy so this one is more for like living room but with your boo with your partner you know you guys are doing your thing and this is just a perfect scent for that type of scenario so that brings me to the end of today's video thank you so so much for being here with me today comment down below any fragrances that you think are perfect for cuddling for wearing them inside of your home on a nice fall day it's crisp it's a little cool and you're at home very comfy what is the scent that you would wear i want to hear from you guys below thank you so much for being here with me give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video